Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis Prepper, and in this video we're talking about the day 14, 15, and 16. Isn't that neat the way they all get packed together in one episode? Uh, the day 14, 15, and 16 episode of Praxis Prepper Alien Invasion. We're going to talk about some of the discussion points and topics brought up in the episode, and at the very end I'm going to share with you a sneak peek of what happens on the, the second half of day 16. You know, cliffhanger. Um, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video to check that out. But before any of that, if you haven't seen the Day 14, 15, 16 episode, there's a link somewhere around here. You can click on it and find out what we're talking about before we talk about it. Wait a moment. Okay, we'll jump right in. But first, I want to thank an exhaustive list of so many people who jumped on board to make today's episode possible. Uh, there are so many of you guys. Uh, thank you very, very much. Uh, I, I think this was probably motivated by the guaranteed access, you know, no matter what the funding level was. But whatever your motivation was, uh, I very much appreciate you guys jumping on board. Your financial support is the only thing that allows me to make these episodes. I could not take time away from my regular job, you know, unless I was able to still put food on the table for my boy and everything. So, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And the people that jumped on board uh, in the past, you know, couple weeks or so and by the way I'm, I'm recording this on the 9th so if you made a contribution after the 9th um, you know, I will be make sure I'll thank you guys next time but that's why I don't know I don't know you yet so uh, the people I want to thank were man with no tan awesome name there Maverick uh, Salvatore Foti or Foti also known as Mud Goblin thank you very much uh, M Reed Brian Fay Br uh, Vicky Allgood or Allgood or Allgood thank you very much is it like Margaret no, no Mar Margaret's Atwood, the poet, Margaret Atwood, so this would be totally different, sorry. Well, thank you very much, Vicki. Uh, Ken Neiman, Kevin Seats, uh, Thomas Lyons, Noi Lang, I'm sorry, I, I might have messed that one up, Noi, but thank you very much. Uh, Brad Miller, uh, Alice Hood Leva, Le mosquito, Alice Hood Leva, thank you very much, Alice. Uh, Paul Pecky, or Peak High, I'm not sure, but thank you very much, Paul. Uh, Glenda Wright, and also Ken, thank you all so, so very much for all of your help, and to everyone else who's been a Patreon supporter, you know, all this time that's allowed us to even get up to this point. Again, like I said, I could not be doing these episodes without you guys. Uh, if you're seeing this video, it is because of the financial contributions of those guys. And if you want to join their club and get a guaranteed access to all the new Alien Invasion episodes going forward, independent of whether or not we're quite at our funding goals or anything like that, uh, uh, patreon.com slash practice patreon.com slash practice prepper. Anyway, there's a link down below. You can check it out. And for as little as a dollar a month, you can jump on board, get access to guaranteed all the episodes, plus behind the scenes stuff and opportunities to even appear in the Alien Invasion series coming up. Uh, you know, so definitely check that out. So, and it, you know, those are the people that made it all possible. But what were we actually doing today? And the episode today, I, I mean, it's about a few different topics here and there. I mean, there's friction between people and that's kind of a topic that's, that's um, kind of coming up in the episode and it's a big thing with uh in a difficult situation you know people's uh you know tensions are running high people don't necessarily you know rub up against people uh, the other people in their group uh in the greatest way so i mean you can start to see some of those tensions and that's just kind of a whole topic in and of itself but what i really wanted to talk about in this episode is the idea of complacency uh what happens is that uh, you know there's a there's a threat it's kind of thrown out and Apparently, we find out at the end is that the idea is that they, they create this threat, this tension situation, and they want to kind of wear people down, have them expend all their energy, worrying, fretting about it and everything, and wear down their energy levels. And then when they start to get complacent, and they're already tired and, and sleep deprived and everything like that, that's when the shit hits the fan. And it's kind of a topic that is just sort of, is germane the right word? I think, I feel like germane might be a word that I misuse. Please tell me if I'm misusing that word. But that idea is sort of germane to the entire idea of prepping because people in much of modern life are complacent and aren't ready when things happen, whether it's a storm or fire or hurricane, you know, flood, you know, without rule of law situation, following one of those things. Economic collapse, which, you know, happens, fortunately hasn't really happened much in our country yet, uh, the United States, but, uh, you know, we see that all over the world. But people tend to be complacent about these things. Uh, they let their guard down, and then they, you know, the rug gets pulled out from under them. And that's what this episode is really about. Have you ever been in a situation where you felt that you had uh, allowed yourself to become complacent, and it kind of bit you in the butt? Because most of the time when you're complacent, at least in the modern Western world, it's fine, you know. Like, I, I'm not carrying a pistol right now. 
somebody could come up from behind me and assault me. But in the modern Western world, we have we appreciate a, an environment that allows us to be kind of complacent and we can kind of forget about things now and then and it doesn't really bite us. And that's great. I mean, that's what we're working to achieve is this, this sense of safety and everything. But uh, it becomes a liability when that safety net gets pulled away and people aren't pre prepared for that. So have you ever been in a situation where you felt that you were more complacent than you should have been and something bit you in the butt and, and you learn from it. And I think that's one of the ways that a lot of people get into prepping in the first place is that something happens to them, they didn't like that feeling, and then they want to make sure that, that at least that specific thing doesn't happen to them again or that they're more prepared for it. So if you have stories that you think would be informative to other people that you think would be helpful or um, would help give other people some insight into things that you know they could maybe watch out for. I was just in Yellowstone and I did not carry bear spray with me. I had a little pepper spray. But, um, you know, I just kind of went in groups with people, made sure you made noise and everything. Uh, some people would consider that complacent. Uh, I would consider that, you know, kind of laid back. And it, I've been there so many times and I've never been attacked by a bear. So am I complacent there? So uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts, your stories, uh, things that uh, maybe got you on the prepping trail when you were complacent earlier in your life. Something happened to you and then you, uh, you corrected it. That's it. Thank you very much for watching this, and here's a sneak peek of what's happening in the second half of Day 16, which will be next time on the series. That's it. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.